이번 영상에서는 충칭에 있는 국제학교 중한 곳을 보여드릴게요. 지금 보여드리는 곳은 저희 꼬맹이가 다니고 있는 YCIS 예청국제학교입니다. YCIS는 한국 사람들에게는 좀 유명한 학교죠? 왜냐면 삼성과의 이재용이 상해 YCIS를 다녔어서 한국인들에게는 특히 인지도가 좀 있답니다. 영상에 표시된 화살표 쪽으로 들어가면 놀이터, 식당, 체육관 등이 있는데 그곳은 오늘 개방을 안 해서 아쉽지만 못 찍었네요. 오늘은 토요일인데 학교를 확장하면서 새로운 건물을 학부모들에게 소개해주는 날이었어요. 그럼 학교 안으로 들어가 볼까요? 이곳은 로비입니다. 문에 들어서자마자 인포메이션 데스크도 있고 천장도 높고 한쪽 벽면은 통창으로 채광이 좋아서 마음에 들었어요. 이 건물은 6층 건물로 모든 클래스룸은 여기에 있답니다. 외국 관광지 박물관에서만 보던 중국어, 한국어, 영어 버전의 이니어 통역 마이크까지도 준비되어 있네요. 그리고 간단한 빵과 물도 준비되어 있어서 학교 측의 세심한 배려를 느낄 수 있었답니다. 가운데 서 계신 분이 YCIS의 교장 선생님이신 미스터 이언 월드라는 분이십니다. 오늘 안내를 직접 해주시네요. So, this... area is our year one and year two play area. The equipment that you see, um, that has been imported from Finland, okay? It's a very famous world-renowned company who, who make a huge amount of playground equipment, not just for schools, but for parks and other areas as well. They can dance, they can sing, they can do a variety of things while the other children are sat there watching them. So this area, is for year one and two at break times, but is also for the rest of the school. Okay, so this area um, is a violin and music room. So sometimes we'll use it for violin, as you can see, all the violins are set up there for the children if they want to use them. Sometimes the children will come in here and have music lessons as well. But this space, as you can see, it's a much bigger, much brighter space than what the original violin room is on the other end of the Great Hall. Um, so we're very happy that the children have a lot more space to learn and a lot more space to actually use the violin properly. It was a little bit of a squeeze in the original building. So this is our music room for our primary. Okay, so our primary students come in here and use this music room. As you can see on the walls, it's got the soundproofing there as well, just to help with the acoustics. and help with the sound for the students. Um, hopefully what you will have seen, and I know it was later than the CCAs, was uh, an opportunity for your children to join a tutoring music program. Now that happened later because the building wasn't ready and now we've got individual music tutoring rooms in this building. We've had a couple of parents sign up for it already, uh, but we hope that the start of semester two, a lot more students will be able to sign up. We've got a range of drums, piano, guitar, uh, all sorts of musical equipment. And I'll just show you um, the individual room. The children can work with their tutors, either one-to-one -one or two or three children. So this new building, uh, is what it is, it's a new building. It's not a traditional school building. So part of the newness to it is breaking from tradition of being just in a classroom. This building is about using more than just a classroom. It's about using spaces such as these. So you'll see the projector screen on the wall so the children can come here, uh, whether they're primary or secondary, they can sit, They can have lectures, they can have guest visitors, they can have small assemblies, they can do a variety of performances here. And that's what we're trying to do within this building.
So this is what we call now our global learning centre. We've moved away from it just being a library to an actual place where you'll come to learn. So what you can see are these glass dividing doors. So if we want to create a quiet space, So as you can see, I can't mm. actually get in. Okay, so I've got to go to the facial recognition. And then I can get in. Come through ladies, come through. When we were planning this building, we planned it specifically for certain year groups. Okay, so these year groups, for example, this is year one, and the reason why they got a really large classroom is to support with transition from K4. Okay, so when they're in K4, they have a lot of space to play, they have a lot of space to learn. So what we've done is we've given them this if you want them to open they close if you want them to be closed so what we're doing at the moment these doors are staying open to allow the children to come out to these spaces okay because what we're encouraging is we're encouraging the children to learn in a variety of different ways sometimes it's on the floor sometimes it's sat on. but when the children do come outside you'll see the This classroom, I can, if I want to, close that and just use it as a whiteboard. So I can write on this. But if I'm projecting something through the projector, I'll then use this screen. But I know that either side, I can write on here. So as I'm projecting something on here, I can write my notes for the children at the side. The same goes for the tables. So when your children are working, if there's a time when you think doing a piece of writing, and uh, let's say they need to remember their capital letters. So and you just wipe straight off. So if I want to separate the two classrooms because maybe I'm doing a more noisy activity on one side than the other, all I've got to do is I've just got to move, move these, they all join up and they create an internal wall. glass doors, I open the glass doors and now the children can flow back and forwards into these areas. So you can see that they're already set up for small groups. The same as if I've got a group here, I can use the whiteboard with one group, I can use the max up with another. And just as we said about it being an iPad, I use it in exactly the same way. So I can still project, I can still work with this group, they can follow the instructions, they can watch videos, they can do a variety of different things. The same as, we can also take the children outside as well. 
So by going outside again, you're going to use facial recognition. So when the teacher, the teacher has to take the children out, because that's the only way you can get through the door. And then obviously afterwards, the teacher is checking that everyone's back inside. So this is more of a look out. And that's the whole benefit with this building. It is flexible for you to do whatever you want to do as a teacher and to teach in a variety of different ways. So the science labs, two science labs, um, much bigger than, we, than the previous ones that we've had, but they basically have state-of-the-art equipment in them. State-of-the-art in terms of safety, with things like a chemical shower. So if you were to get chemicals on you, you would stand under this. So rather than having cables on the floor, we can pull our cables down and we can use the electricity. Yeah. I can split them into two. Okay? What we also have is our preparation room here. So this room is where we store all of the chemicals. So anything that is harmful, uh, anything that we don't want the children to have access to, they go in the preparation room. As you can see, facial recognition to get into that preparation room. There's around about 95% of the staff themselves that can't get into the preparation room. Uh, because. We There's also things like these meeting rooms. Okay, Laurie, we're going to head, head back down now. Okay, so the auditorium has a ground. So we want to use this space as much as possible, not just for special events. We want our music department to come and use the stage. We want it for performances. Okay, 비싸긴 하죠. 충칭에는 네 개의 국제학교가 있는데 그 중에서 학교의 규모나 위치 때문에 지금 보여드린 YCIS 예천 국제학교를 가장 많이 선호하며 다니는 것 같긴 해요. 이 영상이 충칭 국제학교를 알아보시는 분에게 조금이나마 도움이 되었길 바랍니다. 감사합니다.